The Marine Navigation Simulator is a fully regulatory compliant maritime training simulation platform currently configured by the Maritime Simulation Provider. The simulator is designed with six separate student bridges, one full mission bridge, Class A, and five limited task bridges, Class B. The simulator has a separate instructor control room as well as a briefing room where simulation classes initially meet for exercise briefings. The briefing room is equipped with full audiovisual capabilities, including smart board technology for instructor playback purposes. The training simulation platform provides a wide selection of ship types based upon Canadian Coast Guard models. This includes the Pierre Radisson medium icebreaker, the Anne Harvey and the Samuel Risley high endurance multitask vessels, as well as smaller boats such as search and rescue lifeboats and fast rescue crafts. The environment in which officer cadets train can be adjusted within the simulation platform. Exercise areas include those most relevant to Canadian Coast Guard operations, such as the Halifax Harbour, Nova Scotia, Shedabucto Bay, Nova Scotia, St. John's Harbour, Newfoundland, Vancouver to Victoria, BC, and the St. Lawrence River, Quebec. A selection of Arctic exercise area databases are also included for future development. Date and time are selectable within each bridge to affect the environmental scene as are the weather and sea conditions. Some of these adjustments include visibility due to fog, intensity of rain, height and strength of seas and wind. Local marine traffic is also fully controllable by the instructor presenting collision avoidance challenges. Officer cadets can safely learn by correcting errors in our navigation simulator, preparing them to tackle the real-life scenarios once they graduate as officers in the Canadian Coast Guard fleet. The main function of the navigation simulator is to demonstrate both the skills and knowledge the officer cadets have learned in their classroom courses, making this training crucial to the officer training program.